so before we took the derivative by definition by using four step method i just revise it for example if we have a function f of x equals to x square then step one was we write it in f of x plus h form wherever we have x we replace it with x plus h then step two was we take their difference f of x plus h minus f of x equals to it becomes f of x uh, x plus h square minus x square then step three was we take its division we divide it by h both sides it becomes f plus h square minus x square then we apply in step four we apply a limit h goes to zero f of x plus h minus f of x over h limit h goes to zero x plus h square minus x square over h so now we solve this limit problem it become x square plus 2x h plus h square minus x square over h so this x square will cancel out with this we will left with limit h goes to 0 2xh plus h square over h now furthermore it will become if i take out h 2x plus h over h this h will cancel out with this we will left with limit h goes to 0 2x plus h so we apply the limit it becomes 2x plus 0 so the net result is 2x so the derivative is limit uh, limit h goes to 0 f of x plus h f of x over h equals to 2x which is the derivative of a function so now you have seen that it is a long process like f of x plus h minus f of x over h limit h goes to zero we call it that it is the derivative and finally we got the derivative 2x but there is a short way as well which is called power rule which is called power rule what we do in the power rule for example if you have a function f of x equals to x raised to power n this n is a constant this n is a constant like in the previous example uh, what i did x square n was 2 that is our n here i just take it in general form and to be more precise i write it is m times x raised to power n and again if i compare this general example with this particular example m is 1 and n is 2 and x is x so if i take its derivative we denote derivative by f dash what power rule says we multiply this power with the coefficient of base so it becomes m times n x raised to power and we subtract one from the power and that is the derivative so m times n x subtract one from the power so that is the derivative if you see this particular example by definition by four step method it is a long process but if you apply power rule multiply power with the coefficient of base 2 times 1 x subtract 1 from the power so the answer is 2xc in two steps we can get the 
derivative so this is the general form for example f of x is m times x raised to power n right so here you can see that now we call this is base here base is x we call this is coefficient of base and this one we call it power we call it power so here for example if i take any other example f of x uh, could be any other function let's say x cube now first of all what is power power is 3 what is coefficient of base which is m here it is 1 and what is base base is x so if i take its derivative if I take its derivative, we multiply power with the coefficient of base 3 times 1 x raised to power 3 minus 1. We subtract 1 from the power. So the derivative is 3x square. So similarly, if I take the derivative of x now here again power is 1 coefficient of base is 1 1 times 1 we subtract 1 from the power so 1 x raised to power 0 so anything having power 0 is 1 like x raised to power 0 is 1 so what we conclude from here that the derivative of x is 1 derivative of x is 1 similarly now let's say what is the derivative of constant i take any number a a is a constant so uh, just for your understanding as i said anything having power zero is one so i can write here a times x raised to power zero so if i take its derivative a times zero and zero minus one now here it is zero if you multiply anything with zero it becomes zero so derivative of a constant is zero right uh, let's solve some more examples like f of x is x square 3 by 2 x raised to power minus 2 plus 4 x plus 7 now if i take its derivative f dash of x now if uh, we denote derivative by d by dx i will explain it later in upcoming lecture we take derivative of this function we take derivative of this function it is a linear function so it will apply on linear proper linear operator so it will go on one by one so d by dx of seven we are taking derivative of each function individually so here you can see if i take derivative of this function power will multiply with the coefficient of base and we will subtract one from the power likewise here power will multiply with the coefficient of base coefficient of base of 3 raised to 3 by 2 2 will come first and we will subtract one from the power likewise here 4 times 1 x raised to power 1 minus 1 plus derivative of constant we have just seen in the previous slide that it is 0 so 2x this 2 will cancel out we will get minus 3x raised to power minus 3 plus 4 so that is the derivative of this function 
we take one more example let's say if you have f of x equals to 1 by x square so first of all we write it in, in general form when x goes to up it will become negative power so now we take its derivative minus 2 times 1 x raised to power minus 2 we subtract 1 from the power so its derivative is like this so similarly for example uh, if you have any other function let's say f of x equals to x square plus 4x plus 1 raised to power 2 now here it plays a twist like what is power power is 2 and the whole thing which contains this power is your base and this whole thing contains this power too so the base is x square 4x plus 1 that is our base and coefficient of base i am writing it cb is 1 so first of all we take the derivative of power which means that by applying power rule we multiply power with the coefficient of base and we subtract one from the power after that this is the new thing times derivative of base derivative of base so this thing will come as it is now derivative of base what is base x square plus 4x plus 1 so 2 x square plus 4x plus 1 will move as it is and now here we will take the derivative of these functions one by one x square will become 2x 4x will become 4 and 1 will become 0 because the derivative of constant is 0 so the derivative of 2x plus 4 so this is our total derivative